she always had to have a picture of us close by. Why this picture, though? I mean, do you see the expression on our faces? I just can't get through. Whatever's going on, they won't let me in. to tell me everything, but they shut me out, Tessa. They've shut me out. I've had so much on my plate lately, and... and... they're convinced I'm the enemy, and I don't know why! I need them. I need my goblins. I remember now. We heard her crying. We listen through the door. Seeing her like this, as if she's still here, it's... It really sucks. She was really coming apart those last few months, wasn't she? It's here. I knew it. I fucking knew it. Do you think she read it? Of course. She was nosy as hell. Tyler. What? Look. What? Where did you find that? It was on her desk with her papers. Seriously? Are you fucking kidding me? Look, we gotta be really careful not to overthink this. But it doesn't make any sense. She, she was mad, right? She was mad at I, I cut my hair. She attacked me because I cut my hair. She was mad and she attacked you. We both saw it. Then what is this shit? I don't know. I don't know. Tyler, come here. She can't do this to me. Not now. When I've finally made sense of a few things. Well, that was your first mistake. Thinking the world made any kind of sense. <laughs> Ten years in the grave, and she's still finding new ways to piss us off. Yeah. I think I need some air. Are you really, really sure? I am. Do it. Okay. Uh, here we go. <laughs> Whoa. 
is it all gone? <laughs> yeah. It, it looks amazing. <laughs> really? Yeah. <laughs> I can't wait to show mom. She's been so sad lately. More than sad. She's been scary. Yeah, but not tonight though. It was almost like a party. <sighs> thank you, Allison. You don't have to thank me. You're my sister. I feel more like, like your brother. Brother, sister, we look out for each other. But I'm pretty sure I just gave you a really bad haircut. <laughs> <laughs> Mom? Mom? Glad we found your diary. Me too. I guess she was trying to figure out where you were at. Yeah, well, she should have asked. I wasn't some goddamn research project, I was her child. About the book. Raising your transgender child? Do you even know how rare these books were in 2005? Was she trying to figure out how to support me? Maybe. Which, she wasn't trying. She never... <sighs> it doesn't make sense, I know. You cutting your hair was what set her off, right? Allison, she read my diary. She already knew. It wasn't my hair. And if we were wrong about that... Fuck. You think she read it. It's possible she never even opened the diary, and that things are exactly like we always thought they were. But if she did, and they aren't... God, Tyler! Sure. I mean, we could have been wrong. But what good does it do to ask the question now? You mean other than not having to live with the thought that my mom tried to kill me for being me? Tyler, I know you want there to be something to find. Something that'll make it all make sense. But she was unhinged. So that's it then. She was crazy. Nothing else to say. I think we'd be better off if we tried to move on. Why don't we talk to a few people who knew her? See if that book makes any sense to them. People don't want to talk about Marianne. They pretend like that night never happened. What about Tessa? She was Marianne's closest friend. Let's ask her about it. Sure. But I'll warn you, she's particularly touchy about this subject. Well, maybe she'll talk to me. I was always her favorite. Operative word was. But 
We need to go by the store anyway, to get a few things for the repairs. Great. Two seagulls, one stale hunk of bread. I'm not sure I like that analogy. Listen, I know you don't want to keep talking about this. But you're obviously not going to be satisfied until we do. So let's talk. You've been on edge all day. Is there something more going on with you? It's nothing. Pretty sure it's not nothing. And I'd like us to be on the same page. I thought we were on the same page. Sell this place as quick as possible and move on. And then we found the book and things changed. You really don't get that? It's just with the way you avoided this place for the last three years, I thought you wouldn't want to spend any extra time here. Oh. So that's what this is about. Maybe a little. Yeah. It's just... You graduated three years ago. And this is the first time we've seen each other in person. I wanted to talk to you about that. But it never seemed like the right time. I tried to visit you. I tried to go to your fireweed graduation. I wanted to bake you a crappy boxed cake and take awkwardly posed photos. I know. But you shut me out. All I got was non-responses and half-assed evasions. Look, I didn't want to see anyone. I just started testosterone. And, oh God, I had the worst acne. My emotions were all over the place and the smells. Allison, the smells, men smell bad. I know, I've dated a few. Look, I needed some time to figure my shit out before I asked anyone else to try. Does that make sense? Yeah. Yeah, it does. So, I was thinking... Hmm? Do we need to be in such a rush to sell this place? Oh my god, Tyler. Really? What? Everything we thought we knew about Marianne just got thrown out the window. Maybe it did. Or maybe nothing's changed and we dig up that nightmare for no reason. So, it's not worth the risk to you? Not if it means throwing away all our plans. Your plans. It's your plan to sell the house. Your plan to go to Juno. Me? I'm just looking for some goddamn peace of mind. How about... We start digging without putting off the sale. And if it seems like we need more time, we'll talk about it then. Okay. So... We have a plan? Yep. We ask around about Marianne, but we also stick to our repair schedule. Sounds good to me. Ollie's Diary. It's been a long time since I heard that name. Was I the only one who ever called you that? Actually, no. I used it at Fireweed for a while, until I settled on Tyler. Most people were pretty chill about the switch. Not everyone, though. What do you mean? I had a mentee who refused to call me Tyler. He didn't want my help. He didn't want anyone's help. I'm sorry. I like the name Tyler, by the way. Thanks. Nice ring. Gift from your boyfriend? Come on. I told you I'm not with anyone right now. Don't rub it in. Why does it look familiar? It was a gift from Eddie. He had them both made at the same time. Both? Oh, wait. Yeah. The ring was supposed to be linked to the one he tried to give you. Uh, why didn't you tell me? Uh, I didn't think you were gonna toss the ring my foster father gave you overboard. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm an ass. You are. But I get it. I think we should head out right away. Already tired of the view? Just finding it hard to relax and enjoy it with so much on my mind. Go ahead, I'll catch up. I need to respond to a message. Uh huh. my sister, the social butterfly. Seems we got a trespasser. <laughs> what the fuck? You got five seconds to talk me into defending my property. Your property? Five. Four. I'm Tyler. Don't know any Tylers. Three. Two. Sam! Ellie? 
What are you doing out here, girl? This is our house. Was I talking to you? Sam, put the gun down. This is Tyler, my brother. Well, your brother? Oh, shit. Huh. I guess I heard about all that, but I never... <laughs> Damn, <laughs> you look like a real man. So do you, Sam. You know what I mean. I just didn't know they could make a woman look so much like a man. You know, I'm just trying to be me. It's just who I am. Hmm. Well, I've seen a couple of lady transvestites on the TV before, but, uh... I've never seen a dude. Sam, that's not how you say that. Say what? Transvestites? Yes. It's transgender. Transgender men. Uh, I'm sorry. It's hard to keep track out here in Delos Crossing. <laughs> the world's just moving on without us. It's fine. Let's just change the subject. <laughs> Works for me. Tyler. Thanks, Sam. So, what are you doing here exactly? Oh, well, I, uh... I've been kind of keeping an eye on this place for you, you know? It's like patching the roof, checking pipes, and you know, all that stuff. Thank you, Sam. Oh, yeah, yeah, it's, uh, that's no big deal. I just, you know, your mama, she was, uh, she was a special lady. She deserved much better than, you know, uh, what you got. Didn't you used to help Mary Ann with repairs and building projects? Oh, yeah. Yeah, seeing as your mama never had a man around, I just you know, took it on myself to help her keep this place standing. How antiquated of you. Thanks. I uh, guess you two are still aiming to sell the place? That's the plan. Which, by the way, we need your keys. Since apparently you went and changed the locks? Oh yeah, absolutely. But, uh, selling your mother's house? Are you sure? Bad or good? It's all you've got left of her. Not all. I'm sure the gun she tried to kill us with is still somewhere in there. Tyler! What? What Tyler means is, a fresh start is what we both need. Of course, yeah. This place has got to be full of all kinds of bad memories. But maybe some good ones, too? How well did you know her? Not as well as I thought. When I heard what happened that night, well... I figured people were bullshitting me. It really surprised you, didn't it? Much as anything ever has. Other folks say they saw it coming. Not me. Did you help with her door? Her door? The puzzle on her bedroom door. Oh, oh yeah. yeah. You two kept sneaking in, giving her no privacy, huh? You ever solve it? Yep. Better late than never, I guess. Uh, never solved it myself. Uh, I mean, not that I wanted to. I, I, uh, uh, uh so, uh, guess you know all your mama's secrets now, huh? Well. 
She may have one or two left. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? Hmm. I guess I could ask him a few more questions. Okay. Allie, can you hear me? Tide, we can't do this when we're in the middle of talking to someone. But this is pointless. He's hammered. He's always hammered. And who knows? Maybe it'll make him chatty. Now come on. People think our family is weird enough. Um, everything okay with you two? Yes. No. Oh, all right. We should get going. That's all you think we'll get out of him? He's too wasted to be of any more help. I'll tell him to get a move on then. Well, we've got a supply run to make and Uncle Eddie's expecting a visit, so. All right, yeah, of course. Uh, get going, you two. Um, Sam, we all gotta get going. Oh, uh, of course. Of course, yeah, I got lots to do myself. I... Lots of to-dos on old Sam's list. And you don't want to keep Brown waiting, you know? <laughs> Thanks for looking out for this place. Happy to do it. I... Uh, don't hesitate to reach out if you need anything. Anything at all. You hear? Sam? Huh? Uh, Sam? Huh? The keys? Oh, yeah, of course. Of course, yeah, they're, they're yours. I, uh, uh, this place, it meant a lot to your mother. It almost felt like it was a part of her, and, and it's like some part of her is alive here still. Hopefully the house doesn't turn out to be a murderous psycho that tries to kill us in our sleep, huh? Uh... Yeah. Well, uh, take care of yourself, uh, both of you. Hey, so, we really do have a lot to do. Okay, go on. I'll be right behind you. Ready to Veni Vidi Vecchi? I'm ready to talk to Tessa. Just 
Try to keep in mind that your memory of her is 10 years out of date. Yeah, well, it wouldn't be if she reached out to me while I was in Fireweed, which she didn't. So I'm guessing this is Michael? Hey, you. Hey, isn't it your day off? Yep, we're here as patrons. Tyler, meet Michael. This is the annoying coworker I was telling you about. I was there for your introduction to marshmallow vodka and wine coolers, and I've only worked my way up to annoying coworker. Rude. <laughs> Don't worry, she told me exactly how miserable she'd be in this town without you. It's so good to finally meet you. The Tyler talk goes on 24 seven, so I feel like I already know you. So, uh, you here to grab some stuff for the homestead, or? Yeah, we decided it'd be easiest if we just stayed out there. We'll get it cleaned up faster if we literally cannot escape it. Hey, I'm all for efficiency. Cannot wait for us to get out of here. <sighs> What's that? Oh, uh, Michael is moving to Juno too. Oh. And did you guys plan on moving together, or...? Well, I mean, yeah. It'll be cheaper to share a place, but nothing's set in stone. Makes sense. There could be room for you, too. <laughs> for sure. The more Ronins, the merrier. I'm studying to be a chef, so, uh, you know it'll be good eating. And hey, I only snore during allergy season. And baseball. <laughs> How can I say no to that? <laughs> <sighs> Are you okay? I'm dead on my feet, girl. Got up at four to fish before work. It's been a day. Oh, you like to fish? Yeah, there's this spot called Buzzard Hole I go to at least twice a week. It's like an hour drive, but it's so chill, especially first thing in the morning. Shut up, I used to go there all the time. For real? Yeah. Hey, well, if you want to go sometime, holler at me. I don't mind sharing. Cool, most guys I know get all Smeagol about their fishing spots. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at you two, bonding over the most slow and boring way to kill an animal. She's just jealous because she couldn't catch a fish. Even if she filled the lake with cyanide I'm first. Not... Ugh, never mind. Tyler, we better get started with our shopping. Yeah, I'll be around if you need anything. didn't laugh. That was hilarious. Not as funny as you getting all pouty when I didn't laugh at your jokes. I love baiting you. It was my favorite thing. some food for the other customers. But Auntie Tessa said we can have whatever we want.
Well, hello, Miss Ronan. Did you forget something in the office? No, just doing some shopping. You remember my brother, Tyler? Your brother? Oh, right, Tyler. What a pleasant surprise. Didn't Allison tell you I'd be by today? Yes, I think she did. I just didn't expect to see such a dapper young man. <laughs> well, I did shower this morning. <laughs> did you just get back into town, or...? More or less, we've been working out at the old house, but surprise, surprise, after 10 years of sitting empty, it was missing a few things, hence the supply run. Oh, right. Well, we'll get you set right up. It must be nice to be home. Uh, I'm not sure nice is the word for it. Oh, of course. I assume being there feels complicated. That's one way to describe it. Well, don't let me keep you any longer. I'll be here if you need anything. Oh, hey, is Tessa around today? Um, the wife's not in at the moment. I'm sure she'll be around later, though. Okay, so we need candles and an all-purpose cleaner. Plus snacks and drinks. I'm starving. You think you could take a picture of this? Look, all the good fishing spots are marked. I don't have my phone on me. And you know you could just Google all this later, right? Are you kidding, Allison? Old fishermen aren't gonna share this kind of juicy intel on the internet. Michael, you want me to pick up some birch syrup for you? This has some roundabout way of asking me to make you two my world famous pancakes. Ooh, busted. Let's see, fresh cut peonies, triple layer chocolate chip cake, toasted marshmallow. Are you doing a dramatic reading of a fancy-ass cookbook? Nope, just browsing these fancy-ass candles. That pumpkin's huge. Mm, plain candles are fine. What do we still need to get? I haven't found the cleaning stuff yet. That really is one enormous pumpkin. Hey, Tyler. Candy or chips? You know I got a sweet tooth, sis. Sugar rush it is. That really is one enormous pumpkin. Need help with something? No, nah, just doing inventory. You don't want in on this. Hey, Tom, when'd you get that new California plate? You remember that nice young couple who came through town last summer? with the funky band. They sent you their license plate? Their band got impounded. Then I pulled some strings to get it out. So, hey Tyler, remember the Trout King? Yeah, I saw it. I thought Tom might have retired him by now. Are you kidding? He never misses a chance to tell customers he won a Trout Derby. It was a 12 pounder. Any opinion on cleaning products? Only that using them is an unfortunate way to spend an afternoon. Mm, organic's better. Inventory, huh? Ugh, uh, yeah. My mind is so numb right now. Everything from the bulk bin. Anyway, how's the shopping spree going? Finding everything you need? Yeah. I'd be done already, but I'm letting Tyler browse and take it all in. Must be weird for him to be back here. Yeah, I don't know. But today's been crazy. Define crazy. It was just kind of unsettling to go back to the old house after all this time. How are you feeling? Still unsettled, but it'll pass. All right, well, I'll be here if you need me. Tyler, you want water, soda, juice? Whatever you want. I'm not picky. Wish any of it sounded good. Grape soda it is. Ooh, getting wild. Okay, I think we're done here. 
Tom will ring us up at the counter. Will that be all? Yes. Thank you, Tom. Oh, hi, Tessa. We were just meaning to come talk to you. Hi, Tessa. Long time no see. My god, you look like a completely different person. It's me. Plus beard. Yes. So we were out at the old house today. Heavens, why would you go there? Surprise it's even still standing. We found some stuff in Mary Ann's room that took us by surprise. Oh, really? We want to ask you some questions about her. You're the only person who might have known Mary Ann better than us. I, I don't know about that. It's been a decade, kids. I know, but I need to ask. What is it? Did she ever talk about me being a boy? No. It never came up. I found out much later, just like everybody else. Mary Ann was obviously concerned. She really didn't confide in you at all? Your mother was intensely private. She didn't need anyone else, and she made that clear. But this was about Tyler. She was always willing to ask for help when it came to us. Not at the end. Look, I have a lot on my plate today. I'm sorry. My advice to you would be to try to move on. It's not that easy. <sighs> what happened that night? You can't understand something like that, but it was God's plan. That's all we can know. I need to go now. Best of luck to you, truly. What the hell was that? I told you she wouldn't talk. It's like she's got CIA training. Something's weird here. It's weird, right? Yeah, I feel it too. It's like something's on the tip of my tongue. Guys, you all done yet? Yeah, Mom. Can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? I'm afraid there's no time for games today, sweetie. Now let's go. Marianne, can you come here? Sorry, Tessa, I'm in a bit of a hurry. Oh, what's your excuse this time? Emergency repairs for the beaver dam? Tessa, look. No, I don't want to hear it. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start calling in your debts? I'd completely forgotten about that. I remember it, but not exactly like that. Here, let's see if we can call up my version, okay? Uh, Mom, can we go outside while you and Tessa play cards? No, there's no time for games today. Marianne, can we talk? No, we can't. Just leave the groceries, kids. Let's go. Don't. Please, let's just talk for a few minutes. Okay? Okay. We remember that slightly differently. I guess that makes sense. Rashomon, you know? But whatever happened, after that, they walked to the counter, and then Marianne lashed out at Tessa, right? Uh, no. Marianne defended us because Tessa got all preachy. Which is it going to be? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? You hearing this? Marianne was looking for a fight. I want to talk to you now. Or do I need to start? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? Please, let's just talk for a few minutes, okay? 
Please, Marianne, I'm just trying. Stay away from my children. They don't need your guidance. I'm just trying to help. I don't need help. Not from you, not from anyone else in this fucking town. I'm done with all of you. You're done with the food I give you? The fuel? Maybe you are, but the kids are my children, Tessa. Mine, not yours. Please, let's not do this here. Let's go into my office. Fine. Okay. You two, wait here. I'm still skeptical, but okay. For now, let's say Marianne was being Marianne. But once they got into the office, they both went at it, hard. What do you think they were arguing about? Me? Don't know. It was impossible to hear anything after she cranked up the music. But hey, now that we know she was lying to our faces, let's ask her. Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Someone got paid to write this. What's this doing here? Can I help you, Allison? Oh, uh, no, no thanks. I'm good. I'm just looking for something that I forgot. Tessa keeps track of everything in these notebooks. Like what? Any loans she's given out, the stuff she lets regulars take for free, even her tithes. And then what? She starts passing out horse heads if people don't pay her back. Uh, I think she just likes having a record. She's gonna hand it off to St. Paul like a resume. Is there something I can do for you? Earlier you said Marianne kept everything to herself, but you two had a big fight a few months before her death, didn't you? We argued all the time. You'll have to be more specific. This wasn't about who cheated at Canasta. This was intense. You locked yourselves in the office so we couldn't hear. <sighs> I'm sorry. It was a long time ago. Now, I was in the middle of something. Okay. We'll leave you to it. Damn it. I think she knows more than she's letting on. <sighs> uh, duh. But there's no way to nail her down when we don't even know what we mean. If we could pinpoint what it was about, she'd be out of excuses. Sure, but how do we do that? The music was too loud to make out what they were saying. Mm. Marianne and Tessa were obsessed with that song. It was on all the time. What are you thinking? We've been getting these visions whenever we see or hear something really emotional. Maybe listening to it will trigger something. Hmm. You may be onto something here, Ronan. We can't go back to her with anything half-assed. We should go talk to Tom. Make sure we build as strong of a case as possible. Okay. Let's see if we can figure out what song it was. Hey, Tom. There's something I can help you with? This might be a weird question, but do you remember the song that Tessa and Marianne used to love? They played it all the time. <laughs> How could I forget? Uh, I think she's still got the CD back here. A little worse for the wear, Oh, hold on. Huh, here it is. I was happy when it got put away, to be honest. A bit cheesy for my tastes. This is it, right? 
think so. 